Welcome back, and welcome to Misty Bog. This level has a lot of significant points to it. For one, I think it's the hardest uh, level as far as combat goes in the entire game. It has a lot of really, really dickish enemies, as we'll see shortly. It also has, in my opinion, some of the creepiest enemies. And I just got stabbed. That Nork is not what I'm talking about when I say creepy enemies. Remember those plants that I was uh, pointing out earlier? Well, it seems they've grown sentience and they like to eat Spyro, apparently. They, al they also have pretty bad manners. These enemies aren't terribly hard to avoid, but they are really creepy for some reason. The thought of a sentient plant coming alive and eating someone is pretty disturbing. At least to this ki this game's target audience, which is kids. Or maybe I was just a weak-minded kid. That's probably it. And here are the most annoying enemies in the game. They do that. There's no way to avoid it sometimes. Um, and it has quite some range. It may not seem bad now, but when they're in large numbers, they can easily gang up on you and totally destroy you. So with these two enemies, uh, this level is definitely the most annoying as far as combat goes. Which is surprising, because usually the most annoying enemies in games are uh, either flying or ranged enemies. And these are both melee. I don't know why they vibrate. Maybe they're prone to seizures. Seizure plants. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice wall. Something tells me that dragon has a meth lab in a trailer somewhere. This is the south after all. Those are our familiar enemies. Uh, they're the the pigs from the main uh, level. There's a lot of mist here. I guess that shouldn't surprise me considering this place is called Misty Bog. But it's yellow mist. I'm not sure what liquid creates yellow mist. It actually looks quite a bit like mustard gas. I'm surprised Spyro isn't vomiting up his organs right now. Here is the hardest part of the level, and probably the hardest combat part of the entire game. No, I don't mean the chicken. I mean the part that's gonna come shortly after the chicken. This is a total gauntlet of death here. This is legitimately hard even now. There's three frogs here. It's extremely easy to take a hit here, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna save all our hits for the main part of this onslaught here. If you're faint of heart, don't look at the screen right now. Yeah, there's a whole ton of enemies over there. And lots of them are frogs. I just took a hit. There's no way I could have avoided that. So that's one hit we take. We took. I got pretty lucky there. Didn't take any hits. This is actually going pretty well. Usually you take more hits there. You have to be really careful. This is harder than Dark Souls. Okay, we made it, but we don't have any life left. So it's really annoying to collect gems, and if we mess up even slightly, we're dead. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why? I remember... Uh, gotta go! Spyro had a pretty interesting reaction there. It wasn't really anger, or he wasn't startled. It was just kind of an, oh no. I guess he's gotten used to old people, he no longer fears them. He just holds a deep contempt and hatred for them, and is extremely disappointed every single time he sees one. Maybe Spyro's watched too many zombie movies. I know I have.
there's no immediate danger for a little while. Because the, the frog demon bastard things are kind of... The, all the rest of them are at, like towards the end of the level, let's just say that. But we still have some sentient plants to deal with. They're not too bad. This room's pretty easy compared to the other room that we just finished. The only thing annoying about it is the fact that I have no dragonfly, so everything's really annoying to collect. This is quite a large level, by the way, if you've noticed. This is going on for quite a while. Thank you for releasing me. Well, I thought we were done with that. Apparently not. I'm surprised I'm not dead. I'm re I really am. We just took out two of those frog guys and we managed not to take a hit. I wonder how last long this is going to last. Not long, I'm guessing. But then again, I'm beginning to wonder if this is actually worth it. Really annoying to collect these gems. Also, the boars can take out other enemies, which is kind of convenient, I guess. Yeah, we're, we're done with this. Spyro can't take the agony anymore. Okay, so now we have Sparks back, and this should be much less annoying. Collecting all these gems might have taken a very, very long time if we just ran around without sparks. Sometimes it's not worth it to keep it alive. It is a little bit disappointing, though. Also, if you've noticed, uh, this game, or this level is not really giving us any chickens. This is definitely one of the harder levels to survive all the way through. I think there's been like two chickens in this entire level. That's probably the least amount of fodder in any level. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> uh huh. How about charge them, charge them, and flame them? We are dragons, after all. Well, there. I think Bubba's pretty murderous. Someone should probably have him admitted to some kind of asylum. I'm not sure if he's safe to have around the, the smaller dragons like Spyro. He could be carrying a concealed weapon for all we know. I don't know where a dragon would conceal a weapon, but... But again, it's concealed, so I shouldn't know. I'd advise Spyro to watch his back about the next dragon. Or maybe I'd just tell him, uh, thank you for releasing this, Spyro. Because the budget didn't allow for me to have real dialogue. Well, that was a little bit more bitter than I expected it to be. This game probably had a massive budget. You can't blame money where incompetence is to blame, I guess. That was very redundant. I apologize for that. And we're done with this level. Or maybe we aren't. This is tragic. Fortunately, I think I know where it is. It's right. It's right. Wait for it. I know where it is. I'm gonna find it. It's definitely over here. And we were going this way anyway, so... Whatever. We didn't really lose any time. Now we can leave this level. This horrible, painful level. And leave behind all the painful memories of the frogs licking Spire to death. At least that's what I assume they're doing. Maybe they have, like, uh, stingray tails on their tongues or something. Because the, the dragon did say they sting quite a bit. And we just ran into air. It was a densely compacted bit of air that Spyro just ran into. There's a logical explanation for everything in this game. 
That looks closer to 100 gems than 500 gems. But let's not dwell on that. I wish the boars could run into the swamp. It would be entertaining to watch. The next level is Street Hops, and I'm sure you already know about this level. And if you don't, I'll I'll spare you the, the description. You'll you'll see soon enough. Let's just say it's difficult. 